Hello Amazon.com, it's me Bo Shevisu. Today I am coming to you with this adorable little glass teapot that looks something akin to Beauty and the Beast. You know, Mrs. Paltz, she kind of talks like this. But I'm going to demonstrate for you as to why I personally like this teapot. And um, let's let's just get down to business, shall we? Now first of all, it uh, a little hole in there too so that it can breathe, but you don't care about the top. This is the infuser, which uh, initially I thought, wow, it's, it's a little metal infuser. You can barely see the little holes. Is water really gonna go in and out, in and out? Uh -huh. To demonstrate this, watch this very carefully. I pour the water in and it instantly gushes out. So yes, this will suffice quite nicely as a diffuser. So not only are holes on the side, but also on the bottom as well. Uh, did I say infuser or diffuser? Uh, regardless, it's an infuser because infusing your tea. Uh, taking a look at the actual teapot itself, it's not double walled, but it is fairly thick. Surprisingly, it's lightweight, so use caution with this guy. If you have little kids or if you think you're gonna use this as a, a, a little kid's tea party, uh, it's, it's, it's fragile. Uh, however, if I were to fill this up with water, you will see that this little guy, it does pour very, very smoothly. Look at that smooth stream. Uh, so, very, very precisely engineered. You can even see a small little drip coming down on the spout so that there's no drippage once you finish that. See, no dripping whatsoever. Beautiful. Now, let's go ahead and follow the instructions, which first of all, I have some piping hot water right here. And by the way, it's about two cups. I found that this uh, works with two cups of water, uh, maybe even a little more, but I don't want to max it out too much. First of all, let's put some hot water in there and swill it around to make sure that the glass itself is somewhat hot. Uh, you don't have to do that. You can just um, you know, start with the tea leaves themselves. So I have some English breakfast here, which I absolutely adore. And we're gonna get a pinch of this stuff, put it in there, in the bottom of this infuser. Ooh, smells like Nepal. I actually did some mission, mission work in Nepal. Um, yes, yes, love the people dearly, love them very much. So, uh, the tea leaves are in the bottom of the infuser. I can't tip it over too much or else they'll spill out, but yeah, you can see that. Let's go ahead and Pop that in there like so. And now, uh, by the way, very precisely engineered, like so much so, it's almost difficult to pull out. But yes, it does stick in there quite well. As a matter of fact, you can see these little springs on the side, so it does stay in there. And if you were to kind of rock it like this, the infuser is not going anywhere. Now let's go ahead and pour the tea in like so over the tea leaves. And you can see instantly the uh, water level or the water color is changing. And let's go ahead and put all two cups in there. Beautiful, very, very nice. And this little guy can go on top to trap some of the heat in. And nice, beautiful. So what I like about a clear teapot is you can actually see the, you know, how strong your tea is or isn't for that matter. Uh, as opposed to an opaque teapot, you don't know, you, you know, you're just going by measuring, but if, you, if you're a visual kind of person and you really want to know, you know what, I want it a bit darker, you can maybe add more tea leaf or wait a little longer, whatever your preference is in making tea. Uh, now, let's go ahead and pour some of this out. I know I haven't waited long enough, but for the sake of brevity, because I don't want this to be an eight minute long uh, little video, we're gonna go ahead and pour some of it out. Beautiful, just like that. So as you can see, it pours very, very well. Of course, if you were to pour it too much, um, you may have to put your finger up here so that the little cap does not come off. It's not gonna come off very easily because again, it's very precisely engineered and it fits snugly right in there. It's not balancing on top. Do keep in mind that this is not insulated. So if I were to put my hand on here, it is hot. So don't touch it. However, as you can see, I'm not touching it with my knuckles as I'm holding the handle. So you can pick it up, just be very careful not to touch it because it's not insulated like one of these uh, little glass mugs that are double walled. Overall, highly approve of this guy. Uh, it is dishwasher safe. Um, I would not recommend putting it on your stove top simply because it is glass and a fairly thin glass. Um, again, very lightweight. And of course, you don't want to put lightweight glass directly onto your stove top. And uh, no, just don't do that. So just heat up the water, put it in here, 
and uh, and it's a beautiful presentation when you have company over or, or things of that nature and very easy to clean up because you simply do this and this and you can take out the tea leaves and there are no tea leaves in there whatsoever matter of fact I'm looking very carefully and I barely even see particles in there Wow, well done, well done people. Five out of five stars, that is my own humble opinion. Uh, I hope that this is helpful in determining whether or not this is the right teapot for you. My name is Bo Shabasu and I look forward to demonstrating and reviewing more fun things here on Amazon.com.